Congrats, Mahocha. <laughs> Gotta admit, I was getting a little worried when you started hitting the host clubs again. <laughs> Sometimes a girl has cravings, you know? Sometimes this girl can be a headache. Even so, nice work landing a job at a bank. Right out of college, too. Uh, it's just a desk job. Besides, it's my parents who know the board of directors and all. <sighs> All I'm going to say is please be careful. You never know what kind of people you're dealing with. I don't know if you've noticed, but weirdos seem to flock to you like creepy pigeons. Remember that one stalker you had at the convenience store? That's just one example. Oh yeah! Yeah... Next time some crazy guy bothers you, you tell me right away. Oh, sure. Like you'd rush all the way back home just for that. I would if I had to. See, this is why I don't tell you things. You never end up treating me like an adult. I mean, I get that you're worried about me, but you don't have to breathe down my neck all the time. Says the girl who went broke over some stupid host. How could I not worry about you? Why, just the other day, you were eating up some sleazeballs pyramid scheme. You said it nearly changed your life. Well, it felt right at the time, okay? Hey, a catch like you ought to be more careful. Take your sister, for example. She knows when to keep her guard up. <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it, Kaito-san. Wait, did you just imply Mikiko's a catch, too? Huh? That, what'd I say? Shoot, I forgot they were waiting. I never said they had to be outside. I mean, they could at least come in and say hi, right? Ugh, so rude. <sighs> Sorry about them, Masaharu-san. Don't be. If I were your folks, I'd probably feel the same. Oh, don't say that. They just haven't seen what a good guy you are. I'm gonna have to give them a talking to. After all, I'm a modern-day Cupid. I brought you two together, didn't I? Now watch, as I work my magic. <laughs> good luck wearing them down. sign of mom. Guess that'd be too easy. Yeah, it never is. But for now, we ask around and see if anyone recognizes her. Think back to ten days ago. What do you remember? You're a regular, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but I've been studying. I don't know who's around me. Still, you have to have noticed something. Just think back. But there isn't anything to think back on. Hey, got a minute? Oh, what's up? Has this woman been by here recently? Mm, not that I remember. Are you sure? She would have been here in the past two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, last week I was out of town with my girl. 
so I really wouldn't know. Oh, yeah. You could always ask the manager. Is he around? I mean, shouldn't you know? Oh, for sure. I just don't know where he is now. I did see him before. You know what? I'll go find him. Enjoying a little nap, huh? Yo, you got a sec? he sleep through that? Maybe I need to find a new approach. What have we here? No way this guy didn't hear me. <laughs> this right here. Hmm. Oh no. I can't find it anywhere. What have we here? Oh no. I can't find it any- Crap, this is bad. No, stay calm. As long as the employees don't catch me looking around. Crap, this is bad. This right here. Wake up, goddammit! <laughs> no more food, Kim san. I'm stuffed like a cheese rangoon. <laughs> Still not enough? I can't get any louder. And if I get rougher, I'll break something. Hmm. Is this it? Wake up! Yeah! Oh, uh, who might you be? Good morning to you too. I just had a quick question. Uh, okay. Uh, what is it? I'm Kaito, from the Yagami Detective Agency. I'm after a missing person. 
Uh, who's missing? This woman. She been around lately? I remember she was a regular here for the longest time. Uh, oh, this lady. You've seen her? Uh, not recently, but she certainly was a regular. Mikiko-san was her name. Good, so you know her. What else do you remember? Uh, actually a lot. She stood up for me on multiple occasions. <laughs> I'm sure you know the types we get around here. <laughs> if anyone started making trouble around her, she'd march over and walk them right out. <laughs> Yeah, she was a pistol, all right. Oh, and you! You and her were together, weren't you? That's right. You two had your favorite spot by the window. Hey! I told you, put it out! What now? Can't you see there's a baby in here, moron? Now either put that shit out or go smoke outside! Pipe down before I bust your face, kid! Let go, damn it! Hey, teach this little shit a lesson. Of course. Hey, I'm his guardian. You got a problem with the kid, you talk to me. I'm gonna guess it's not talking you want. Aniki, you hear this dipshit? Oh, I've heard enough. Let's put the fear of the Aragaki brothers in him. your head sometimes. Not everyone's gonna go down from an arm lock. Yeah, read you loud and clear. Although, your technique was spot on. Where'd you pick that one up? Oh, Mom taught me that a while back. So that was the Mikiko special? Yeah, she knew all kinds of stuff. Kickboxing, self-defense, you name it. Mom was badass. Reminds me of a story your mom once told me. Some little shitheads were picking on your aunt, right? Instead of telling the teacher, she trained herself at a dojo till she could take him down herself. Guess you two had something in common. You both kick ass. Boom! Pa! You fire off punches like a rocket launcher. You seriously gotta teach me how you do that. <laughs> Why? So you can pick even more fights? Self-defense is all a kid like you needs. Ah, <sighs> weak. <sighs> Thank you so much for what you did. As I was saying earlier, guys like them always come around making trouble. Glad I could help clean up. Shall we continue our discussion? Right, right. Damn punks made me lose focus. So, can you tell me anything about Mikiko? Sure. I'd say this happened, oh, about ten days ago. A woman came in and ordered coffee. She was seated by the window, too. At the time, I thought she looked familiar, but I wasn't 100% sure. But 
When you showed me that picture of Mikiko, I immediately thought of that customer. Was it her? Well, I can't say for certain. She wore sunglasses, so it may have been someone else. Got it. Are there any other details you remember? Hmm. What else? Oh, this one's about Mikiko-san herself. I remember she used to bring a friend fairly often. Maybe she might know something more. I believe she knew this friend from a cabaret club. Oh, you don't mean Momoko-chan. Momoko-chan, that's the one. I haven't seen her in a few years, but she might still be around. Last time I heard, she was running a bar in the Champion District. Yeah, Momoko's. I used to pop in there sometimes. Nice! Then I guess we know where we're headed. Thanks for all your help today, boss man. Oh no, this was the least I could do. Please, come back again. Fights you can't win. That way, huh? Kaito, I've been curious. How does one join the Yakuza anyway? Say what? Maybe I want to find me a family, so I thought I'd ask the expert. Is it just like they do in the movies, where you swear an oath to your boss over a cup of sake? Chu, please don't tell me you're serious. Yeah, and what if I am? Then you're even dumber than I thought. No kid should even think of wanting that life. Well, I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, really! Okay. Then say goodbye to having your own bank account. Or a place under your own name. Any Yakuza you see is probably dead broke. That's how bad the police have them now. Trust me when I tell you. Give it up. Mm, not sure I buy all that. You've been out of the game for a while, right? How much wax do you have in those ears? Ha! Found you, little bastard! I knew I'd track your skinny ass down! You a friend of yours? 
Who, this asshole? I caught him beating on a homeless guy, so I figured he needed a lesson in empathy. Didn't last long when I twisted his arm, though. You just love getting into shit, don't you? Listen up, shit stain! It's time I got to payback! What, you want round two? This time I'm breaking bones. And I'm chopping limbs! Get ready to bleed! <gasps> June, allow me. Oh, hey, you with me? Uh, uh, what is the deal with you? You better back the fuck off, man! Unless you want to get hurt! Let's just take his ass down already! This kid really knows how to choose him. You. You okay? Uh, wait. Don't tell me I... Passed out again? Yeah, you sure did. You want to tell me what's up with that? I just can't handle that shit. What shit? Knives, man. When I see one, my brain just shuts down. Hell? You got some sort of knife of phobia going on? Don't tell me you got stuck at some point. Not exactly. See, I was messing around with my dad's knife collection one day. And like a dad, he warned me never to touch them. But as a kid, of course, I was gonna. Okay. Well, as you can guess, my dad walked in on me. And man, was he pissed. Which, naturally, got me pissed, so I started talking back. That's when he put the knife to my arm. You saying he cut you? A little. Enough to draw blood, anyway. You get it now, Jun? Knives were made to hurt. A person can die if they're not careful around them. I don't want you touching these ever again. Understand? So that's what did you in. If you ask me, he took his lesson way too far. Yeah, no shit. Guy has no fucking clue how to be a dad. All he does is work himself sick in his office. Though, he did apologize later. After he found out how bad he messed with me. Said he was out of line. No kidding. Hey, you think the Yakuza would still take me even with the fear of knives? If you pass out the moment you see a blade, I don't think you'd last long either way. Yeah, you're right. Fainting on the job in that line of work's a death sentence. Besides, it's not like you can always swoop in and save the day. I gotta get over this bullshit! Well, you can save the pity party for later. We're out to find your mom, remember? Right! Yeah. That way, huh? いらっしゃいませ
ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませありがとうございましたどうしたの Wait, what happened to Maho chan? Oh no, you haven't heard? I think it was 13, 14 years ago. Anyway, it was tragic. Without even seeing it coming, Maho chan passed away. You, you're kidding. Oh, not Maho chan. How did it happen? Well, according to the reports, it was arson. Imagine your last moments being trapped in a fire. Arson? Oh, God. What a way to go. Their foster parents died that night, too. Why these horrible things happen, I'll never know. Mikiko chan took it especially hard. <laughs> of course she would. Her sister was really all she had left. <sighs> After that, Mikiko chan changed. It's like all the sadness in her heart evaporated from that point on. She'd say things like she'd kill the bastard who did it, as if the only thing driving her was anger. Did they ever catch the guy who did it? They did. Apparently, it was a stalker who'd been after Maho chan a while. He hung himself immediately after. Bastard just did himself in, huh? Mikiko really hated that. Yeah, Mikiko chan got so depressed. <laughs> It was hard to watch. Not only did she lose her little sister, she lost the people who took her in. Even though they weren't flesh and blood, they may as well have been her real parents. And all that goes away in a night. <laughs> to someone she can't even hold responsible. <laughs> June, did you know this? Well, kinda. It happened right after I was born, though, so I never heard much details. Damn. <sighs> you okay, Kaito? Yeah, I'm fine. We've got a job to do, don't we? Right. Where else in town might Mom have gone? <sighs> hey, what about your special spot? Have you checked there yet? Huh? What special spot? <laughs> Seriously? I'm talking about Kamuro Theater. Mikiko chan told me all about it way back when. Although, wasn't it called something else back then? Oh. Hey, uh, what was this special spot of theirs? Hmm. It's where Kaito san asked your mom to go steady. Whoa! For real? <laughs> mm hmm. If I remember right, he took her to a movie and confessed at the downstairs cafe. 
And, uh, yeah. A anyway, the place has been remodeled since then. The cafe's not even there anymore. But isn't the place itself still important? Those memories will always be there. <sighs> I mean, maybe, but would Mikiko even go there after all these years? She might have if she came all the way back to Kamurocho. After all, she described it as one of the happiest times in her life. Huh. Did she really? Well, it's not like we have any other leads. Might be worth a shot to check. Yeah, I suppose we could. Keep going? 